Hey there, pen fans. I am Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and I am absolutely thrilled to introduce to you today the latest Goulet exclusive Sailor Pen. This is a Pro Gear and Pro Gear Slim that we are calling Northern Lights Blue. It's still kind of wild to me that we have the opportunity to be able to do a pen like this. This is our fourth exclusive Sailor Pen that we've done. Previous ones that we've done have been Stealth Green, We've had Northern Lights Purple, we've had Stealth Purple, and now this Northern Lights Blue. The body of this is a translucent blue. It's a deep, rich blue with a lot of silver shimmer to it. It is translucent, so you can see through it. You're not necessarily going to be able to tell what ink you have inside the pen, but you'll probably be able to see, you know, if you got a converter in there, maybe if it's empty or if it's full, You'll be able to see a little bit, but you just get kind of a hint of translucency. The finials and the grip are a bright green that are going to complement the blue. This is all part of the Northern Lights thing. It was similar to our purple that we did last year that had the pink accents. It was really cool looking. So we went with the contrasting finials and grip on this one too. So this pen has very complementary rhodium plated trim details on the center band, the grip, and the cap finial. And the center band says Sailor Japan founded 1911 in block lettering in the accent ring above it. It has a tension clip with some Art Deco inspired accents. The fit and finish on these pens is superb as it always is with Sailor pens, right? The Sailor Anchor logo is embedded in the finial on the cap of both the standard Pro Gear and the Pro Gear Slim. The pen is a screw cap. It takes about two rotations to unscrew it and it's got a nice firm posting on the back Nice and secure if you do like to write with your cap posted. This pen does come in two versions, the Pro Gear Slim and the regular standard Pro Gear size. The Slim version is a smaller size pen, similar in diameter to a Lamy 2000, somewhere around there, maybe a tad shorter. Uh, weighs 17 grams overall, similar to like a Lamy Safari. So, you know, it's a pretty light um, and you can hold it all day in your hand and write with it. It's not gonna really you know, weigh you down. I think this is great for an everyday pen. Pro Gear Slim, I think, is generally a more comfortable fitting pen for most people, especially if you've got hands that are more like a small to mid size. The standard one will probably be more comfortable if you have slightly larger hands. Now, on the regular Pro Gear, you get more of a mid size pen. This one is going to have a diameter closer to probably a Pilot Custom 823, if you're familiar with that one, somewhat larger pen. Um, this one weighs 22 grams overall, which is still relatively light for a pen this size. So, I think this one is going to be you know, a little bit heavier, obviously, than the Slim, but um, still very comfortable for everyday writing. Big part of the appeal for Sailor pens is their nibs, and that's no different on this pen than any of their other Pro Gear models. Sailor makes all of their own nibs in-house. They're renowned for great writing quality and consistency. I won't go too much about them because they're the same on this pen as they are on all other Sailors, and I do have a full video showing all the Sailor nibs, so you can check that out. Now, this pen does have gold nibs on both pens, but they're slightly different between the two models, but they are both plated in rhodium, so it looks like a silver finish, but they're gold underneath there. The Pro Gear Slim is gonna have this slightly smaller 14 karat nib. It's gonna be a little bit stiffer, but you get the full range of nib sizes. You have seven different nibs to choose from. The standard Pro Gear, the bigger one, is gonna have a 21 karat gold nib. A Little bit of bounce to it, still relatively stiff, but you know, definitely a little more bounce to it, a little larger size than what you're gonna get on the Pro Gear Slim. And this one's going to have the same range of nib sizes that the Pro Gear Slim is going to have. And in terms of the actual line width and the grind and stuff like that, it's pretty comparable between the two model size pens. The nib designs are highly detailed. They have the Anchor logo and the 1911 number as the focal point in the nib design. These pens will both accept the proprietary Sailor cartridges as well as a Sailor converter, and the converter does come with both of these pens. And one of the nice things about this is it has a really good cap insert too. You can't really see it so much even though it's a translucent pen, but it's got a cap insert there that helps keep the nib nice and wet so that it's ready to go at any time. All right, so up to this point, I've pretty much just been talking about Sailor pens and, you know, obviously the color is the most unique thing about this pen, the color combination we've done. Uh, so I thought what would actually be good for a video like this would be to show you some inks that would probably be good choices to match this one. So uh, I've got some choices for blues as well as greens if you want to you know, match the accents of the pen. So let's get into that, shall we? All right, so I'm guessing blue is probably going to be the one you're going to want to match the most, and that makes a lot of sense. It's a dark blue pen, so you got a whole lot of options. <laughs> you know, second to black, dark blue is probably the most available ink color that you can get. So this is by no means an exhaustive list, but I have some here that I thought would pair up pretty nicely. Uh, and I'll start out with a Sailor ink first. 
The first one I have is a Sailor Ink Studio 740. There's a few Sailor Ink Studios close to this blue to choose from, to be honest with you. And the way the Ink Studio colors work is, you know, kind of everything clumped together in the number range. Um, there's a hundred, a hundred of these different things to go for. Um, but anything kind of near this number might be kind of close to it. So um, 740 or 743, somewhere around there. Um, you're going to have something that looks pretty good. These are well-behaving dark blue, no crazy properties, but it's just something that's going to pair really nicely. Another good one might be the Sailor Manyo Konagi. This is maybe a little bit brighter blue, not quite as navy, but uh, it leans a tad brighter, a little more vibrant, but I personally really like this color. I've used it quite a bit, and uh, you, know, you might like this one as an alternative. I had to throw a couple of shimmering inks in here because there's a shimmer in the pen material, so if you wanted to really match it, uh, you can do that. Uh, one great one would be Diamine Blue Pearl, the deep blue with a silver shimmer to it, pretty much hitting the nail on the head with this one. And then one that's very similar to it, maybe a tad darker, I'm not sure, um, is Diamine Starlit Sea. Now, both of these shimmering inks from Diamine, they tend to go pretty heavy on the shimmer. So you might actually get, depending on the paper that you use, if you're using a more absorbent paper, you're not going to see as much of this silver. It'll be more subtle. But if you're using a really ink resistant paper, you're going to see a lot of that silver come up. So just be aware of that. And I got a couple of non-shimmering, non-sailor inks to recommend too on the blue side. One is Diamine Blue Velvet. This is a very vibrant, very saturated blue. I really love this color. Might have a little bit of a red sheen to it, which, you know, there's not really any red in the pen, but it is just a cool aspect of the ink. Um, very intensely saturated blue. It's a personal kind of favorite of mine, this ink. Then another good one, just from a different brand, uh, Monteverde Horizon Blue. Very comparable to Diamine Blue Velvet. Um, intense and saturated. Could easily be swapped out with Blue Violet in most cases, I think. Another option that Rather than going blue, you could go the green route, right? So um, got some good vibrant greens to choose from as well. So one would be Sailor 260. This is not a shimmering ink, but it is a vibrant green. It's gonna be very well-behaved, conventional ink from Sailor. Uh, that's part of their Ink Studio line. Another good one would be Ferris Wheel Press Moonlit Jade. Now this one seems like it was basically made to match the accents of this pen. It's a vibrant green with silver shimmer, plus the Ferris Wheel Press bottle. Just looks really stunning, so that's kind of a nice little benefit. Then I have Diamine Meadow. So there's no shimmer on this one, but the green color is pretty dead on. And honestly, when I'm looking at this green, I feel like I'm just like skipping across a grassy field because it's just such a dead match uh, for the name for that ink. So um, that one would also look pretty good in this. So I'll go ahead and mention the price here. Normally, I don't like to talk about price in videos very much, but it seems like with Sailor at least, especially for a limited run like this, the price will be pretty well locked in. They have had some price increases happen recently. I'm um, shooting this at the beginning of 2023, and you know a lot of prices of pens have gone up in recent years, unfortunately. But uh, here's where we are. So anyway, for this slim version, we're going to have it for 312, and the regular we're going to have for 440. Uh, so you can check out these pens, the availability, nibs, and lots more information, pictures, details, and stuff like that on gouletpens.com. Um, as far as how long these pens are going to be available, we're basically doing like a limited run. It's like one batch of them. They're not numbered limited editions, you know, so they're priced, you know, just the same as, as a regular sailor uh, would be. But, uh, you know, we'll probably have them for the better part of 2023. I'm not 100% sure, but if you really like this pen, I would go ahead and move it closer to the top of your list. I know it's an investment, but, um, you know, to get into it, it's not quite an impulse range, but, um, you know, it's something that, that uh, you've got a little bit of time, but not an infinite amount of time, right? Definitely like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think of this pen. We'll take a look in the YouTube comments. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for you today. So thank you so much for watching and right on.